the hit. He's got to come down for it to be good. Corbin back in now at running back. He gets the carry. Look at that hole. And Corbin slipping down at the 29 as we go back to Mike Hall, another T-Mobile studio update. Kevin, from one running back in Reggie Corbin to another in Makai Sargent. A 14-yard touchdown run for the Hawkeyes. Looks like Iowa's going to put this away and end their two-game skid. A minute to go. They're up by 13. All right, Mike, that may do it in Iowa City. It's nowhere near done here in Champaign. Illinois putting Wisconsin in an unfamiliar position this year. On the ropes a little bit, despite leading by nine. Second and four. Peters off play action, pressure up the middle. Over towards the end zone, and that to Abebe with the touchdown grab. This time he hangs on, and Illinois with a score. Great job of picking up the blitzer. Now watch his catch. He has it, has it, has it. He's going to catch his arm as well. And he pulls his arm through with the ball, and that's a good catch. One more look. Rashad Wild Goose, that's the arm he catches with the football. Yeah, that's a catch all the way through. How about this? Great coverage. McCourt for the extra point. It is a two-point ball game in Champaign. 5.53 to go in the fourth. Lovey Smith and the Illini. And Paul Christ in Wisconsin a little nervous. He met to Bebe. Hangs on for six. Wisconsin, Wisconsin uses the seconds. timeout now. They need time to get the ball back. Watch this. And this is just refusing to quit. He gets the edge and now lowers shoulders. Watch this. One. Awesome. Watch this. Set him up. Outside, inside. Spin. Went for a strip. Spin. Keep your legs dry. Ah, it's just phenomenal. What a great effort, Kevin. And now, Illinois very much within the range of James McCourt. If they don't get another yard, it's about a 42-yard try from here. He's They're hit from 50, 53, and 57 this year. Very makeable. Now, do you want to put it on the leg of a kicker? You're going to have to. Here's Corbin. Corbin fights down to the 23. Paul Christ using the second Wisconsin timeout. Second team. Stopping it with 28 Wisconsin. seconds to go in the fourth. 30 seconds. Trying to buy time at the end of a field goal make if it does go through the uprights. What a battle. Looking for their first win against a ranked Big Ten team in over a decade. Kevin, I can't help but go back to our conversation with Lovey Smith yesterday afternoon. We were talking about all the holes and all the stuff that could go wrong or whatever and he just kind of had enough at the, at the end they said look what, he said don't be surprised don't be surprised if we win did he say if or when i, I think don't he remember said win and then he just said don't be surprised yes, exactly and he and his white beard were out the door i love this this is what college football is all about they're going to kick the field goal. Second down. Here's Brown. And Brown down to the 22-yard line. And Paul Chris will use his third and final timeout. Third and final. Right. Team charge on Wisconsin. One minute. Now remember, McCourt has missed today. He yep. missed from 40 on the second series of the day earlier. But got in the right position for a right-footed kicker. You're taking it. And so he... he He's not going to push it. He's not going to hook it. It's the right angle. There's McCourt, the man of the hour. The junior from Parkland, Florida. Sad that it has to come down to a kicker. <laughs> he will have a little bit of a helping wind as well today. That breeze 
blowing at going. his back. Yeah, I'm looking at the goalpost and I don't really see anything. And at the other goalpost, it's pushing the other way. There's the flag is pushing, like you said, at his back. But it's at the open end of the stadium. So it's third down. Illinois will have one more chance to set this up perfectly from a court trying for a program changing win in Lovey Smith's fourth year. Here's Brown, and Brown trying to burrow forward, gets to the 21-yard line, and now Illinois will run it down for one kick. One kick to change a season, one kick to change a program. Second team, charge timeout, Illinois. 30 seconds. The Illini fans are applauding their team. They did exactly what they hoped they could do. Give themselves a chance to win a big game. And a chance to pull off arguably the biggest upset of the college football season. James McCourt with Blake Hayes to hold. This will be a 39-yard try for the win. They're holding their breath in Madison. They're holding their breath in Champaign. They'll let you know. Wisconsin trails all year is as that kick goes through the uprights to give Illinois the biggest upset of the college football season. What a homecoming for the Illini. They knock Wisconsin from the ranks of the unbeaten 24-23, the final in Champaign and James McCourt, the hero on homecoming. No doubt it for James McCourt and Matt Millen, whatever they found in the second half against Michigan, they found it again today and they deliver a landscape shaking victory in the Big Ten. Kevin, what they found was confidence. And they played with confidence all game long. Well, you know the head coach has to be thrilled. Lovey Smith is with our Rick Pizzo. Among one of the craziest celebratory scenes I've ever seen covering Big Ten football, Lovey, you told us Friday not to be surprised if we saw a result that would shock the college football world. Why did you feel that way? Well, we've been close a couple times. You know, where we felt like we had a chance to win the game. We had a great game plan. We're healthy now. And we, when we're healthy, we're a pretty good football team. All the credit goes to these guys. We finally finished the game. How about the way your defense played, especially in the second half, when they needed to come up with a play every time they did exactly that? They stood up. It's always about the turnover ratio. Our guys know how important that is. That big pick by Tony Adams, that really kind of set us. Lovey, what can a win like this do for your program moving forward as you try to build what you set out to build here in Champaign? We hope that more people take notice. We got a great new facility. We're a better football team. And then hopefully people will just start taking us and look at us as a team that can contend each week. Lastly, before we let you go and enjoy the rest of this celebration, take me inside your mind. What is going through a coach's brain when the balance of this game relies on one play and one kick? Well, I felt confident. I knew we had a good field goal kicker, but for our program, we needed to get a signature win. 
I was just hoping the day was a day, and the day came. Love it. You certainly enjoy it. So go celebrate. Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Too Baker. often that gets James, thrown yep, around. I have a signature win. It applies here, Matt. Yeah, That's a signature win if I've ever seen one for Lovey Smith and this Illinois team. I said it earlier in the broadcast. Two of the best people and best coaches were on the field today. Let's I couldn't down. be happier for Lovey. Let's Perfect. go back downstairs to Rick Pisa. Kevin, thank you. James, we just heard your head coach, Lovey Smith, tell me what was going through his mind as you were lining up for that potential game-winning kick. What was going through your mind? You know, nothing but silence and put it through the uprights. You know, all, everything I worked for, uh, it's just amazing that I can help the team and this coaching staff and this university, like, just help them succeed in something we've wanted for so long. And, no, it feels amazing. It just feels amazing. It feels amazing. You had missed one earlier in yes, the sir. game. Yeah. How do you put that out of your mind when you know what was on?